Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Wayne. Wayne Batista, a Filipino crafter currently in Denmark. And for today's video, um, I'm just going to share with you guys how I started fresh to be the girl that I wish I was. But before starting, I would like to say thank you for watching this video and trying to improve yourself. You're doing a great job. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to show support and love through subscribing, hitting the like button, and just trying to hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified if I have new uploads like this. But yeah, thank you and let's start. And uh, the first one would be, I try to move or travel to places that I've never been. And I try to research on those places because, like they say, experience makes the most of the confidence that a person could possibly have. And with that being said, in traveling, you would need to level up your confidence, trying to talk to strangers, trying to discover places that you've never discovered, trying to just be yourself out there because you know that no one knows you and no one will judge you and all of that. So get out of the place that you are currently, if you have in any way, but if you don't have means to travel or get out of the place that you are with, I suggest that you go to the nearest spot that you could be isolated, that you could see new things, even if like it's like few minutes away from your house. Just go there, try to see the nature, try to talk to people and all of that. It would definitely start you having those mindsets that if I can do this alone, I can do the rest. And it would give us the number two. The number two is... It's also similar with the first one. It's try, I tried new things that I've never tried before. So with that being said, I worked out in the gym, which I have been so insecure to go to. And uh, yeah, I've dated people that I never thought that I would date. And yeah, I introduced myself to them as me. And I, in the first Part, I was so scared that they might not accept me because I'm being goofy and being me and I'm just me that uh, the expectations of having like an adult woman like I was not that woman so I tried that and uh, luckily the guy that I'm seeing now just accepted the little girl in me and it was like thank you but that really if you accept me or not it's about me expressing the girl that I want to express and yeah luckily he accepted that but if he doesn't it's still not my lost I mean I express myself it's up to you it's not up to you if you accept me or not it's up to me to express it but yeah and that's the second one and the third one would be hmm this is easier said than done, but I went out of my comfort zone. Let's say in my comfort zone, I would not wear a bikini in public. I would not wear gym shorts or gym attire in a lot of, in a gym full of people because I have like a lot of insecurities in my body and I feel like it was not something that I would want people to see. But I pushed myself to just embrace my flaws, like my stretch marks, my uneven skin tone, my belly fat, my untrimmed hair, all of that flaws that the society says that is a flaws. I kind of just embraced it and... I started with wearing a bikini and at first I was like, are they looking? What should I do? What do they do? And then it came to me like, oh, it doesn't matter if they look. If I feel confident with this, then it doesn't matter how they think. What matters is how I express myself. If I'm 
dignifying myself if I'm trying to like impress myself not other people I just want me to express what my brain wants to with that outfit or with that fashion statement or with my hairstyle and all that so yeah I went out of my comfort zone I talked to people also in that way because uh, before I would be just like waiting for people to talk to me because I, I'm not really used to initiating a conversation but for now I actually say hi first and then say, say goodbye last and then that would be the end of the number three and the, the fourth one would be connected to the number three if you feel like people are looking at you judging you just remind yourself that their thought is not your thought the most important and the only thought that matters is your thought because no matter what their thoughts are they will never know what's going on behind yours bravery to show yourself to others and if they don't accept it it doesn't matter because what matters is you accept yourself and be there for yourself and just show up for yourself so other people's judgments or their judgmental eyesights or glazes doesn't matter remind yourself that what only matters is what you put or what you put in your thoughts what you try to tell yourself and why do you tell that to yourself and uh, yeah i think that was the hardest one for me aside and then the number third i mean the third one was the hardest part when when i was trying to start fresh and becoming the girl that i want to be because it goes against all of the things that i've learned as a coping mechanism when i was younger so when i was younger i was like hmm, they look at me this way like let's say i wear a bikini and i saw some people who would be like giving me the side eyes i would automatically put on a big shirt and just not enjoy much because i'll be like trying to see what they think or how they express themselves how they look at me and i'll be conscious and it will ruin all the moods that i prepared for that day and now i'm not, i will never let that happen again but yeah the fifth one and the last one would be only focus on your growth i only focused on my growth so with this um rule that i said that i said to start fresh uh, this kind of um, okay for this fifth one is only focus on your growth and uh, with this rule this is going to be the last one for me um with this rule being said i cut off a lot of people that did not contribute in the growth that i want to go or just did not take enough respect for themselves that i know if i'll be with them i'd be like them so yeah i focused on that it means that i tried not only learning skills but also trying to improve the skills that i already have it means from crafting to talking to people to um, editing or anything else any skills that you may have focus on that and make it grow and feed it with all positivity that you could attain for yourself write it down improve yourself look at the mirror let's say in the morning when you wake up the first thing you should do is look at the mirror and say yeah girl you got this day you'll finish this you'll you'll finish this day really really good and really happy and in peaceful way and yeah and in doing that you should i did oh well, i did cut off whatever that feeds me with toxicity uh toxic yeah it was kind of toxic as well in my part but i wanted to grow and um toxic people did not have that space i did not allow them to 
being in my space of growth because if I allowed them to be in there, there would be no space for another type of growth that I want to be in. And yeah, I cut off a lot of people that tell me that I can do this. I mean, I listened to them say that I can do it and I did it and I proved them wrong and it fuels me even more that they know that they were wrong. So yeah, in all, all of those uh, rules that I set for myself to start fresh, to be in my era, I've learned that a lot of people will not understand the way you think now because they think that you've changed, they think that you are not the person that you were before and they don't understand that you're trying to grow to become the person that you wish to be and as much as it pains me to say this but if they think that way then they're not the part of the growth that you want to be it's either you lessen the time with them or cut them off like temporarily to just isolate yourself from anything that gives you negativity and yeah don't push it to grow it's selfish to say but it is what helped me to grow and i hope it does help you too and anyway i'll end this video by saying that you got this if you're watching this video and trying to be the person that you wish to be then you're in a good start being aware is power thank you for watching and see you in my next one